Sometimes cruising decisions are about big things, and sometimes they're about small things. Hi, I'm Nika Waters, and welcome to the Boat Galley Podcast, your source for your answers to all questions about cruising, even those you weren't quite sure made the cut. Today, we're talking about the length of your hair. Today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by FastSeas.com. Plan your next passage using Fast Seas. Whether you're after speed or comfort, Fast Seas will find the optimum route to your destination. Fast Seas, making weather routing simple. Use coupon code GALLY2018 for an exclusive 10% discount. Find out all about it at FastSeas.com. That's F-A-S-T-S-E-A-S dot com. Sometimes we get so wrapped up in the great big conversations about cruising that we lose sight of the small things. And believe me, the small things when you're on a small boat, or even a slightly bigger boat, can be pretty darn important. Somebody said to me not too long ago, oh my gosh, your hair is so long. And I guess compared to where it's been in past years, yeah, it's long. But also compared to where it's been in past years, it's really not all that long. But why does it matter how long my hair is when I'm going cruising? Because I can tell you a lot of times when I think about when I, whether I should get a haircut or not, I think about what it's going to be like when we get out on the boat. What does it matter? Make it whatever length you want, right? Just take a pair of scissors, chop it off. The thing is, there are pros and cons to whatever length you choose, of course. Are you tired of me saying it depends when there is any kind of question around cruising? That seems to be my favorite answer. There are definitely pros and cons to hair length on a boat. Here I'm going to go over some of them. And here is what I like about long hair. I can pull it back into a ponytail or braid it. There's no question. It's out of my face. Number two, why I like long hair. If I go for a few days without a shower, and sorry, that is sometimes the reality when you're cruising, and I pull it back into a ponytail or braid it, nobody's really knowing that I haven't had a shower in a couple days unless they look a little too closely at my hair. Number three, it's easy to not really care about a haircut. You can chop inches off or not. I don't really have to find a decent hairdresser wherever I am, or really any hairdresser for that matter. Number four, it's really easy to make long hair look fancy. And sometimes making it look fancy means that I've showered, washed my hair, and brushed it. Number five, sometimes I still like to chew on my hair when I'm nervous. Number six, wearing my hair down is an instant way to spice up date night or sundown or night or turn any evening whatsoever into a special occasion. Given the fact that we are working on a budget, this is a really inexpensive way to make an impression. Number seven. There's no conversation about what to do with it at workout time. Ponytail, it is. Number eight, earrings twinkle like surprises when they're in long hair. Number nine, a baseball cap is an easy hat to wear. It serves as a ponytail holder and a sun visor all in one. And I like things that multitask when I'm on my boat. Number 10, my hair absolutely loves humidity. Long hair on me looks wavy and full and fun and ready to go. It doesn't frizz, and I would not mind it if it did. And then there's the question about what I like about short hair. Because I do. I like short hair. Number one, it's so incredibly easy to take care of. In and out of the shower in a second, you have this tiny amount of stuff that you're dealing with. The end. Boom. Slick your fingers through your hair, and it's done. Number two. Save money on shampoo and no need for conditioner. Number three, it dries in about mm, three minutes flat. Number four, I can wear dangly earrings or plain ones or little tiny ones and they don't get lost in my hair. Number five, the amount of hair that I shed, i.e. have to sweep up and clean up on the boat, is comparatively less. Number six, come on. Short hair is sassy and cute. Do I have to say anything else? Number seven, there's no need for a ponytail or a scrunchie. Just wash and go. Number eight, you don't have to use as much water. Number nine, I do actually think that short hair makes me look younger. 
we can debate whether this is a good thing or not a good thing, or if it even matters at another time. I'm putting it on the pro list, even though I'm really happy at the age where I am. So it's not like I feel have this great need to go younger, but I digress. The thing with long hair is that it's long. There's more of it to shed. There's more of it to wash. There's more of it that feels just kind of yucky and gross. It is easier from a few practical angles on a boat, mostly the tie it back and forget it angle. And also you don't have to have regular haircuts to make it look good. I haven't yet convinced Jeremy to come with me to the hairdresser to learn how to cut my hair because he just cuts his own and then there's no question, but he hasn't yet decided to cut mine. I really like my hair short and Jeremy really likes it better long. I think though, for practical purposes on the boat, given that I'm not picky and not fancy and really don't like the in-between stage, that's the worst of all, I'm going to have to stick with long hair. What do you think? How important is it to have your hair the length that you want it? Is there a hair length that you particularly like or don't like? Send me a message. I would totally love to hear from you. I can't wait to debate the pros and cons of how you see your hair best when we're sharing an anchorage and sharing a sundowner sometime. I'll see you out there. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode of the Boat Galley Podcast. We appreciate you chiming in, sharing this with people who you think might want to hear what we have to say. We come to you live every Monday and every Thursday. Well, that's when we put it up there. I don't know when you listen to it. Subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. And I can't wait to see you next time. Thanks for listening.